All right, well, I've been doing double versions of puzzles lately, and several people have suggested that I should do kind of a combination of two different puzzles instead of just two of the same puzzle. And a common request was matching a Fibble with a Zordal. Uh, Fibble with Zordal. I gotta do them the right direction now. <laughs> I've reversed my camera here. You'll notice it, it says Enostwale instead of Yellowstone. Um, that way, so when I look to the left puzzle, I'm looking to the left on the screen, and when I look to the right puzzle, so... Anyways, but now I'm, I'm used to pointing the other way. No, okay, so, <laughs> back to the puzzle. So, we're gonna try and solve a Fibble and a Zordal at the same time, and I have to do the same guesses on both words. Uh, so if you're not familiar, Fibble is like Wordle, but uh, on every row, one of the clues is a lie. And on Zordal, it's two words that are overlaid on the same grid, so every clue is for one word or the other. And this should be, um, interesting. <laughs> I don't know whether to expect that I will succeed or not. Uh, my instinct is that this is gonna be hard to do, uh, but, you know, we'll see. So, what do we wanna do, what do I wanna do? Now for Fibble, I typically try to repeat a lot of the letters to get contradictions. On Zordal, I typically try to repeat the yellow letters. Um, we don't have any yellow letters on the Zordal, and on the Fibble, most of them are grays, which is a bit frustrating. But the good thing is, R, A, D, and E are not letters we've already tried on the Zordal. So we could repeat, we could do something like grade, which would be five new letters on the Zordal, and also repeat a lot on the Fibble. So let's do that. Okay, good. Now let's let's type it in over here before we start thinking about things. Okay, that's good. Ooh, interesting. We got the T and the E. So the last letter in the two words are T and E. And over here we've got a contradiction with the A's. So one of the two A's is a lie, for sure. Both of them could be lies, but at least one is a lie, which means all which whichever one is the lie, the R, D, and E on that row have to be true, which means they're true in both. So one of the A's is a lie. Now, it's possible both A's are a lie, or the T or the G could also be a lie. Now, so my, let's see, over there I would probably do something with a T and an A again. And hope for some contradictions, maybe something like teach would be good over there. Because we do know there's no E, so we can kind of try and get some contradictions while also trying a couple of new letters. Uh, over here, I want to do the A and the G again, so... Oh, but I don't want to do the A there is the problem. So, maybe we want to do the A in a different spot. We can still try and get contradictions with the A in a different spot. You know, we do want to do the A and the G again in different spots. And so, we could do an A and a G, which again, gives us an opportunity for contradictions here. Because we don't know whether the G or the A is the lie in grade. I'd like to do new letters for the Zordal. With the A and the G. We could do... Laugh isn't terrible. It does reuse the U. Agile might be better. We already know there's the E, but over here, that's gonna do the A, the G, and the E with two new letters. Let's try that. Okay, that's interesting. We'll come back to that in a second. Over here, ooh, okay, well that was really good. Uh, well, it's, it's more yellow though, but we got more 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 letters at least found, so that's good. Uh, they're all yellow though, okay, over here. So, clearly this green A or this gray A are a lie. One of those two is a lie. There's either an A in the word or there's not. They can't both be true. Same with the G, one of the two G's is a lie. So either the gray A or the yellow G has to be a lie. They can't both be true, because if they're both true, both of these would be lies, which is impossible. Therefore, these are all true. We already knew the E was true, but there's no I or L. Now... Okay, so, we had said that the two A's could both be lies, right? Is that true? Is that true? If they're both lies, then it's supposed to be a yellow A, which means this is a lie, because there is an A in the grid. Which means this is true, which would make this a lie. So, that's not possible. So both A's cannot be lies, which means one of the two A's is a lie. The T or the G is a lie. If 
this is a lie, this is a if the, if, if the gray A is a lie, then both gray A's are obviously lies. Which makes this true and that a lie, and true and true, yeah, so that works. If this one is the lie, that one's true, because this is a lie, this is true. And that makes the T a lie, so that works as well. So we still don't know which one is the lie. I don't think. And over here, I mean, we just want to reuse all those letters again. Um, you know, something like light, but we, we already know the T at the end, but... We also know that there's not a different letter at the end. It's T and E on the two different words, so... You know what would be a funny answer on the Zordal, since it starts with Joust? Is Knight. It's the wrong kind of Knight. But that would be interesting. That would be kind of a funny answer on the, on the with Joust. I don't know how good Knight is for a guess on the left. I mean, it does do the I, G, and T. With two new letters. Let's go with that. Let's try that. There's a chance it could be the answer. <sighs> it's not the answer. Okay. Light. Light could be the answer, though. All right, let's do Knight. Okay, so we know the I is true. Interesting, the G's here. So one of these G's is alive. The T's... Okay, so... If, if the G here is true, the gray G is true, that means this gray G is true. It also means the green T is a lie. Which could mean this is true, yeah. Other way around, other way around. If the gray G is a lie, this gray G is a lie. Which then means that the green T is true and the gray T is true, which is not possible. That's the way to do it. So the Ray G has to be true, it can't be a lie. If it's true, this is a lie, that makes this true, and this true, and that a lie, and this is true, and there is a green T, which means this is a lie, which means these are true. Okay, so, there is a T at the beginning, there is an H fourth, there is an N somewhere, it's probably not gonna be TN, uh, that would seem unusual. So, NH, ooh, that's, that seems weird too. But but I also don't like H N. What? Did I do something wrong? I must have done something wrong. Okay. Let's back up here. This is a lie, which means that that's true, that's true, this is a lie. Oh, the green tea is the lie! I said it was true. I did make a mistake, okay. I knew that couldn't be right. <laughs> okay. The green tea is the lie. We don't know if the gray tea is true though, actually. It could be... It could be true, or it could be that it's supposed to be yellow and they're both lies. Okay, I went too quick. So, we still don't know which one is the lie in here. The N, the H, or the T. But there's no A and there's no G. There might be no T. We might just have no letters that we don't. <laughs> well, there's, an either, there is, there's either an N or an H or both. We know that much, because they can't both be lies. Okay, back over here. Uh, I mean, light is a possibility. If it was light, what would be, what else would we have? We'd have the N and the A and the E. Something like that. Ooh, no. Lance. Lance is really good. Lance instead of light. Lance and fight. Lance and fight could work. That would fit with joust. Um, let's do Lance. Okay, it is Lance. Let's do Lance over here. Okay, we know there's no A, so that's true. We know there's no E, so that's true. We know there's no L, so this is the lie. So these are true, therefore, ooh, this could still be the lie though, because it could be it's supposed to be a green N, but we know there is an N.
If it was N at the beginning... Alright, let's, let's do... Let's do... I'm pretty sure it's gonna be fight. It's something I-G-H-T. I think... It's not night. It's gotta be... It's gotta be fight. Let's go with fight. Fight and lands. Okay, so we got the Zordal. Um, so let's... We gotta do fight over here. Okay. And we know that the G is the lie. So the rest of these are true. So that means this is true. This is a lie. Therefore, this is true. So all we have now is a yellow N. Everything else is gray. We've only got three more guesses. Yellow N. Uh, okay, so... My first thought was snout, but we know there's no T, but... Uh, that's a new spot for the N. Three new letters. There's gotta be an O or a U, or both, because we don't have A, I, or E. I don't know. I don't know. I... I feel like we've got too many unknowns at this point. I'm just gonna go with snout. Okay, well, the good news is we found some letters, because these can't all be lies, obviously. This one is true. I was kind of hoping we'd get like a yellow or a green T, and then we'd know that was the lie. I'm inclined to think the N is true. Let's, let's assume the greens were true and the yellow was the lie. That, I mean, it's not going to be something like this. So what would come at the end? Snowy. Snowy would work. We're running out of guesses. Um, I'm going to go with Snowy. I like that. Oh, it's Snowy! Alright! <laughs> Woo! I thought I was in trouble there. Okay, so... Lance and Fight on the right, and Snowy on the left. A Zordal and a Fibble at the same time. All right, very cool. So that was kind of fun. I might have to try that again sometime. Um, I don't think I'd be able to do like two Fibbles and a Zordal. I think that would just get, I mean, I barely got the Fibble as it was. So, but again, it just kind of depends on how the clues work out. You know, if you get contradictions right away, um, and in, in this one, we happened to get contradictions that meant we ended up with all grays. <laughs> so, all right, so let me know how you did with today's Fibble and today's Zordal. And if you try to do both at the same time, let me know how that goes for you as well. And be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. But that got me thinking, what does your welcome mean? And why do we say it? Or for that matter, what does the word... Okay, okay, so that's where the R is. Uh, so the C and the H and the Y are no good, so there's gotta be an O. Oh, wondered, wondered. Okay, so we can do, ooh, ooh, we have peaking. It could be speaking, actually.